Well, here I am again. I've actually achieved something at long last. This is a butterfly effect or Lorenz attractor. As you can see, the formula are here with the rate of change for X, Y and Z. With uh, sigma, which is the little o, X, P is rho, not a P at all. And the B with a stick is a beta. You'll see what happens now. When I increase the iterations, it draws the Lorentz curves, or whatever you want to call them. Brilliant. Works a treat. It's taken some doing, even though I've copied all this from uh, a chap called Kuldeep Singh. You'll find his... Uh, YouTube page in the uh, description. I'll put it on to render and we'll do it again. There it goes. You'll see it's changing colour. Um, this is just because this is starts out as a Bezier curve. That's the basic root of the thing, if you like. I put an emission material on it and then put a colour ramp on so that it starts out uh, with uh, a long wavelength red colour and uh, as it uh, progresses changes to the short wavelength blue or violet. Double the count up, you can have as many counts as you like, well the computer might well stop but uh, you can uh, keep going, very impressive thrilled to bits with this. What I'm going to do with it now, I've achieved this, I don't know, but it's taken me on and off weeks. Lovely. Have as many as you want. It probably will stop eventually, but uh, it's no big problem. It's only a computer saying no. Stick with two iterations. Uh, Kuldeep Singh uses about four or five hundred I think, but it doesn't really matter. And you can adjust obviously the curve thickness, that's not a big problem. Evolution, I don't really know what that should be set to, but it's not plugged in at the moment anyway. You can use vector wriggle instead of uh, random vector as an input. But uh, um, I've not bothered with it. It sometimes stops with that. I don't know why. Here we've got uh, change in time. If you alter that, it tends to go pear-shaped, so I just leave it at just a tiny little bit. Sigma is one of the constants, and uh, Lorentz sort of seems to leave that at 10. You can alter it. Rho can be anything. If it gets up towards 100, you end up with a very simple curve. Uh, well, it's not a simple curve, it's a, but it's not very exciting. Beta is always 8 over 3, which is the same as 2.67. You're not supposed to alter that. I don't know why. I think it's just because Mr. Lorentz says so. And as it's his formula, we'll keep it. It does look better with 2.67. Um... Well, there's nothing to stop you playing about and looking at these things. That's what it's all about. Computer generation. Wonderful. See, the pattern varies all the time, no matter what, you know, put it it all back to something like the Lorentz starting points. This is uh, rendering. I've put a little uh, thing in the blog part of this. I'll put a link to the blog. Um, it's been an absolute devil rendering uh, emission shaders in 2.8 
but if you go into render settings and uh, you'll see in the blog I've just tick that disable viewport display then it seems to render we can come out of this one and go into the heavy bit uh, we don't want the Euler configuration yet. This is uh, start with a group input, uh, split it into vectors. So we have a vector for x, y, and z. Uh, these are just basically see the formulas that are written in there. Um, these are just maths nodes, and they'll be all add-ups, takeaways, and times. As there's no divide in this. Well, there could be if you will they couldn't because Lorenz didn't want one but you know what I mean you could put one in if you wanted but we uh, I've started collapsing these down because well, everybody seems to and uh, then we combine them all up again having split them and put them into uh, a group output and then we come down to uh, the integration part which is a EULA <clears throat> I've got a bit muddled up here, we'll do this bit first step I still don't really understand if you take that out, I think it's just the index is 1 if you start with nothing and then put that in oops this is a bit I'm not quite sure of yet. Well, there's quite a lot of it I'm not quite sure of. But uh, that just sort of sorts the splines out. Um, this is Euler integration. There are several ways of solving the uh, rate of change differential equations. But uh, the Euler one's in Wikipedia and it's the one that uh, Kuldeep Singh used. Here I've, uh, I'm just playing about, I've plugged a time info node in, which is just at the top there where it says frame, and uh, it means all it means is that the uh, timeline will generate stuff just as you play it. Depends what you plug it into. Totally berserk. I think probably row. Just remembering a little in a maths formula looks like a Greek. Well, a little p. It's a Greek r. Uh, I think Russian letters are similar. Well, uh, I think there's something else to show you. That beta we shouldn't play with. It's eight over three. Eight divided by three. DT, we know not to play with that. Job goes completely ape. See, just doesn't work. Well, it does work. I mean, it's doing something. Lord knows what it's doing. But it just likes that point zero one. time into the sigma which is a little sigma that looks like an O with a sort of stick on the top quite nice that this is rendering in real time it's EV and I'm impressed with it I love it but uh, it's not really a high quality render but it's better than you normally see in a viewport You see why it's called the butterfly effect. Looks a bit like a butterfly. As I say, you don't have to have it changing colour. You could have it all one single colour if you wanted to. It just uh, everybody seems to do these in three, you know, a full spectrum. So I thought, well, don't try and reinvent the wheel. It looks all right to me. And uh, that's about our lot today. 
I'll have to think of something else to do now. It's uh, been a very entertaining journey. <laughs>